for giving me the chance to serve two years ago. Two years ago, we defied the pundits and turned, turned Virginia blue for the first time since the Civil Rights Act. This is a time for America to look forward, not backwards. This is a time for us to dare to believe in the next great American decade. This is a time to look at the down payment we've made in the last year and a half on the next generation of science, the next generation of technology, the next generation of agriculture, the next generation of automobiles, including the first 100 mile per gallon car invented here in Charlotte. We started something two years ago that was very bold. For too long, our politics had been focused on protecting the powerful instead of fighting for the people. Well, some of us got into politics to change that, and that change has been tough, it's been brutal, but with your help, we are going to keep fighting until the working middle class have the voice in the And the man who's about to speak to you stepped up when this country was in crisis. And he did stand on that wall, and he did make difficult decisions to prevent the next Great Depression in this country. And instead of 740,000 job losses a month, he's overseen nine straight months of private sector job growth. But more than anything else, he's about focusing on that genetic DNA that makes us Americans, that says we always believe the next generation can be better. And that we look and say, how can we beat the other countries to energy independence? How can we outcompete the world? Not how do we stick our head in the sand and act like these problems don't exist. So it is my pleasure today. Charlottesville, Virginia.
of Republican leaders in Washington, they made a different decision. They, they, they realized, they, they looked around and they said, boy, we really made a big mess out of this economy. And it's going to take a long time to fix it. And so now in this election, the other side is betting on amnesia. Thank you. 